Hi everyone, welcome back to Journey to Home Sweet Home. It's Pearl. Today I have a humongous grocery haul. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what we got. Some of the stuff are essentials. We use this every day and some of them are non-essentials. It's just things that we just like to have once in a while. And so you'll see them in this haul, but just know that they will last us probably more than a month. Uh, because we don't use them all the time and then even some of the stuff that I have here that we use on a regular basis because I've bought so many of them they will last for over well over a month okay so let's start over here so of course I had to get hand soap and this is unfortunately not the antibacterial but hey any soap is better than no soap so I decided to pick up this and in fact, um, a lot of the aisles, a uh, lot of the stores, sorry, the soap aisle is completely wiped out. So I was even lucky to find this bottle, um, which is a bottle that you can refill all the other little bottles. Okay, then I bought some cooking oil. I do have another canola, full bottle of canola oil and a full bottle of vegetable oil, but I decided to buy one more of the canola oil. This is also something that was uh, wiped out at the store. Okay, then I bought some chewy granola bars. Now I can make this, however, I thought, you know what, um, there's a lot of things I'll be making in the next little while and I just thought I'd, it was on sale as well, so I just thought I'd stock up on it. Um, because the kids like to have that. And then when we run out, I'll just be making some more. And I did buy supplies for that. So you will see that in this haul. Uh, as you can see, the box is empty because I did go ahead and empty it into the cupboard, um, into the pantry. However, then I realized, you know what? I should probably make a video and show you guys all the things that I got to start my prepper pantry. So that's why that is empty. Then I bought some Coca-Cola. Of course, you know, it's not an essential, but we just, you know, we're gonna be in the house for three weeks and um, who knows, maybe longer. And I just thought that, you know, we wanna uh, make it enjoyable too, okay? Um, so then we, I also bought craft dinner. And I'm not giving the prices of these things because uh, honestly, I can't remember all of them. And some of them were on sale, some of them were not on sale. And I just picked them up because that's what was there and that's what was needed. And it's it, it might have been just the one or two that I found in that store um, at the regular price. So it was kind of like, get it or go without. So. That's the what I did. So, but this craft uh, dinner was eleven ninety eight, and there are twelve inside, so that works out to be a dollar a pack, which is really good. Um, we do use quite a bit of them when we do our our uh, cooking, so or for our dinner, so we use about three packages. Uh, however, we I do give some of the kids for lunch the next day as well, so we do have leftovers. So that's good to have that on hand. Then I bought some water, of course. It's always good to have water. And then I bought an extra bag of flour. I do have a full bag of flour in my pantry, but I bought another one because uh, if I run out of bread, uh, I can do that. You guys know I love to bake a lot, so baking cookies and all kinds of desserts. Um, I can do that. I did not buy any cookies, you will see in this haul, and I did not buy cookies at all, any kind of dessert, because I know that I can make those, and I enjoy making them. Then I bought some, um, a package of 50 Oasis drink boxes, so that was on sale at Costco. can't remember for how much, but it was on sale, so I decided to pick up that, and that should last us, because I'm asking the kids to drink um, the, the regular juices. Okay, next is, I bought some, um, what do you call it? This mild, low acid apple juice. Uh, 
some lemon juice from Concentrate. This is really good. I use this to wash meat, and so this is great to have. However, you can also use this to make lemonade. You can also use it, um, I use it in my home remedies when the kids have a cough or just when we get sick in general, so it's great to have on hand. Then I have some 100% PC apple juice, some PC 100% uh, mango juice, and then some Del Monte apple uh, mango nectar. And so I picked up those to have on hand. Um, then I bought some Premium Plus crackers, and I bought two of those. Bought some President's Choice um, crisp and thin crackers. These are these are comparable to Breton, but a considerably lower price. So bought that. Then I bought some cake mix. Now I have chocolate cake mix in the pantry, but I bought bought some Rainbow Bit cake mix. Why you ask? Because my son's birthday is coming up. And I will be making a cake for him. Um, I don't see why the um, quarantine should put a hamper on that. We will be celebrating by ourselves at home, but I still always make a cake for the kids. Red rose tea. So I decided to pick up a extra box. We do have some left in the pantry, but we are going to run out. So I decided to pick up this uh, red rose orange picot there's 72 inside it was about four something so 492 or something like that then i picked up some baking powder now there are two different kinds here this one is 697 this one's 397 and the difference uh, why i did that is i went to one store and basically i was seeing like all oh, everything wiped out in a lot of the stores that I was going to so I decided to pick up what I found and which was the magic baking powder and of course it's the brand name one so it's 6.97 it's more expensive that is the regular price but then I went to real Canadian superstore and then I found more baking powder uh, a couple of different kinds and so I just decided to pick up their no name one I've never used it so uh, it will be a, a nice experiment. <laughs> uh, okay, then I bought some barley um, just because this is great for making soups, especially when we're sick. And I don't expect that we're going to get sick. Even uh, to cook this instead of rice, eating this with uh, a stir fry or something tastes really good. So I decided to buy some pearl barley. Then I bought some navy beans just because I wanted some black eyed peas, but they were all out. So I decided to buy the navy beans. Bought some chickpeas here. So um, yeah, so just chickpeas. I do have some in the cupboard. However, I needed a, a full package. So um, just have on hand. Rather than buying the canned one, um, which is when you work it out is pricier than just buying the beans themselves so what i would do is either boil them in the pot or the slow cooker and then um i, I usually do a big batch and then i freeze them so then when we want them we have them on hand to um, just take them out and use fry them up or make curry out of it so moving on we've got some um, Kellogg's Raisin Bran that was on sale when I picked it up. I have some Honey Nut O's President's Choice Bran that was also on sale for I think $3.99. Oatmeal Crisp $3.99, $3.94, something like that. Um, steel Cut Oats, these are regular price to something. And of course, there are um, eight packets inside. Now, these ones are not my favorite. My husband and my daughter like these ones. But I prefer the actual whole flakes, or not the whole oats, but just the rolled oats, but flaked. And truth be told, I prefer the actual oat. Um, so not the rolled one, not the flat one, the regular oat. However, um, it's not something I could find in the store right now. So I decided to pick up the large flaked oats, and this is the one where you boil it for about 10 to 12 minutes. So then I bought some quick oats to make cookies as well as granola and also granola bars. Oops. 
Okay, and I believe there are four something each, um, which is the regular price, and that's okay. Okay, then I bought some chocolate chip, chocolate chips, like a club pack of chocolate chips, because I love making chocolate chip cookies, and that will be our go to to a dessert and bedtime snack for the kids. Um, now, before I bought this, I had bought these, and because I just picked it up in case, you know, the big packages weren't available. So I went to one store and I picked up this, but then when I went to Loblaws, uh, or Real Community Superstore, then I found this big package. So I decided to pick that up. So can't go wrong because I always do a lot of baking, muffins, cookies, uh, that sort of thing. So it's okay. I also picked up some Fleischmann's pizza yeast. Now I wanted the quick rising yeast, a whole jar. However, that was wiped off the shelves as well. So hopefully they'll be bringing back that soon and I can go and pick up a jar. I do still have half a jar in my fridge. So that is, you know, that will be okay. That will last me for about two, two pizza making sessions. So two dinners, um, because Friday nights we always like to have pizza. And lately I've just been making them all myself. Okay, then I picked up some Earl Grey tea from Costco. I believe it was 11.47 and you get 144 packets in there. Um, so I like to drink that tea. Um, then I bought some Al Craft Dinner Alfredo. Then some chicken coating mix. This is like shake and bake. So I bought two of those. Then I bought some chicken noodle soup because my son and his husband really like this when they are sick. So chicken flavor, I bought three of these. And then I bought three of the vegetable flavor. Okay, um, going back here, I also picked up some chocolate syrup. We do have chocolate syrup right now, uh, but that will finish uh, in the next two weeks, one or two weeks. So I picked up another chocolate syrup. Then I picked up a honey and some applesauce because I think this is great just in case, um, you know, it's good to stock up on the fruit and vegetable, canned fruit, canned vegetable. So I've also bought um, apricot halves. Okay. Then I also bought some breadcrumbs. These are the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. So I bought two of those. Then I bought some crushed tomatoes, some uh, diced tomatoes, uh, chickpeas, okay, kidney beans, and another kidney bean. Uh, this is chunky soup. Um, this is prime rib and vegetable. Now you can see I didn't really buy a lot of canned beans and soup because like I said I have the dry stuff and I would just make the soup myself. Okay then I have some cream of mushroom because in case in case I can't get to making it it's always nice to have that um, on hand. Okay then I have some salmon. I just picked up one of these because I knew I had like six at home. Actually five now because my husband used one. Um, so now I have six. Then uh, that's the wild pink salmon. Then I bought like evaporated milk. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six evaporated milk just in case we don't get milk. Um, we have that for our tea. Then I bought some uh, sea salt, so I picked up two of those. I picked up some olive oil, okay, extra virgin olive oil. We don't use that often, so I don't need too much of that. Um, some peanut butter, this is the crunchy peanut butter because I couldn't find the smooth, it was on sale. And so by the time I got to the store, that's all that was left. Um, and then also sauces, so tomato sauce. Okay, that's the compliment brand. This is the President's Choice brand. But all together, I have five. Then I bought some butter chicken. 
so I bought a uh, butter chicken mix. I bought two of those. I bought some salsa mix and that's for our Tostitos and um, quesadillas, tacos, that kind of stuff. I also bought some Crisco shortening for baking, um, for making icing uh, when I make my son's cake. Okay, and then I bought some brown sugar. This is the golden brown sugar. Now I also bought a big bag and then um, I bought a small bag because that's what was available. Then I bought some granular sugar. Okay, and this is all for baking, mostly all for baking. We don't really use sugar and much of anything else unless I'm making lemonade then I need brown sugar okay then I bought some ketchup okay this is from Costco two pack um, some mayo some mustard I did not pick up relish although we do use relish I thought that was something we could do without um, we do have pickles in the fridge and we do have some relish right now so uh, when I do go back to the store um, to pick up, you know, maybe next week or the following week some fruits and veggies, then I will take a look at that again. But for now, these are the main condiments, and so I decided to stock up on those or just get some extra ones. Then I got spaghetti. I haven't used this brand, so if you want to know how it 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 boils you can ask me in the comments below i will try to let you know about this brand i haven't used it myself so this will be another experiment for me um then i so i bought four of those actually okay and they were 177 each uh that was what was left on the shelf because pasta is also completely wiped out i bought some chow mein or chow mein and there's two packs so both of these packs will go for one meal, plus some leftovers for lunch the following day. Okay, then I picked up goldfish crackers because the kids love those crackers. Okay, some Joe's Roasted Salted Jumbo Virginia Peanuts. That's from Walmart. Then I also picked up some Tostita Rounds, the really big bag from Costco. So as you can see, a lot of the stuff is from many different stores. I also did go to Shoppers Drug Mart, so uh, some of the stuff is from Shoppers Drug Mart as well. Uh, then I bought some Jamaican Allspice. I do use this when I cook, and I'm totally out of it. So this is great because this will last for months and months, maybe even a year. Okay, then I bought some basil. These are all basil here. So there are four basil. Um, one is compliments, one is great value. Or three of them are great value. And then I bought some onion powder. I use a lot of that as well. Some garlic powder, um, some ground ginger, and some oregano. Just stocking up on the spices. Okay, and then I just bought some cold and flu things um, that we usually use. So here I have some extra strength adult Tylenol. Bought two of these because I wanted the 100 pack but they didn't have that because that is also something that's totally wiped out. And so I bought the 24 pack. I bought two of them. This works for me. My husband uses Advil but we have that on hand. So the Tylenol when I checked had expired so I decided to pick up some of that. Then um, some Tylenol children's, uh, children's Tylenol, sorry, so the chewable tablets. But then th I, I could only find one, and then when I went to another store, I could only find um, the liquid. So I just bought one of each. It's the exact same thing, just one in a liquid form. My kids are older now. When my kids were younger, I thought this was, um, you know, this was the only way I could get them to take Tylenol as soon as they could start chewing and have like candy. Um, then I gave them this. But now they're older, it's fine, they could have that. Okay, then I picked up some vitamin C, of course, to keep the immune system up. Okay, so that is part of the haul for my prepper pantry. I did buy some frozen and fresh stuff, so I'm gonna get that on here now and I'm going to show you what I'm putting in the freezer.